And today's comment of the day is apparently a popular one. I saw it so many times, but you want longer episodes. I'll give you longer episodes. How you doing, everybody? It's me, Waddles, and welcome back to the wonderful Minecraft Guide. Today, I've got a banger of an episode in store for you. By the end of today's episode, we will no longer be considered legally homeless. This is going to be beautiful. Also, in honor of that new big update, we have to explore a little bit more. Let me know your dream episode link down below, and at dawn, we set out. <sighs> Guys, I, I said it like a million times the last episode, but I still can't get over how good it feels to be back inside of a Minecraft survival series, and, and just in this new world in general, I'm so excited. So right near the end of the last episode, we did a tiny bit of exploring, and I like what I saw, I like a good forest, but I, I think there's more. Before you head out anywhere inside of a new world, remember that golden ticket, your red bed. Before you do any traveling, exploring inside of your world, it's always a good idea to bring that bed with you. Now, I'm not really too worried about losing location right here. We're right by World Swan. Shouldn't really be a problem, but, but don't forget to mark your location down too. And a wonderful exploring hack we talked about last episode, boats, boats, and boats. It's all about boats early game. We do have a little bit more food than we had last episode, but it's still not like the most food in the world. If we could mainly stick to the water today, I think that would be beautiful. And if we could mainly like not go too far away from spawn here today, that would be beautiful too. And well, 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 I think coal is another beautiful, great thing to have. Skeleton, pathetic skeleton from last episode. Look, I know this isn't the first cave. This is this definitely not, but this is my first coal. <laughs> it's beautiful. While exploring today, I would like to hopefully find like eight pieces of fire. I hope it's not asking for too much. So today, we explore only a little. There is one iconic landmark that I that I kind of like legally have to walk over to today and check it out. That's gonna, of course, be Sky Tower with apparently lava flowing out of this thing. Oh, should we build over here? Like, I know it's a plains biome and it's not like the most inspiring landscape, but like, that's a literal Sky Tower. Imagine having that in the background. Hmm, sheep friend, beep friend, what do you think about this iconic landscape over here? And chicken, you like it too? You're so happy you could lay an egg here, raise your child? <sighs> well, I, oh, you too, you too. Well, I think it's settled then. I think this is almost a little bit too beautiful to pass up. For now, I think we'll call this home. So I've never seen any of this landscape before. Look at this thing. We got this beautiful mountain range right over there. Of course, this one over there and that too. I'm thinking this hands down. It has to be a shattered savanna biome because that is, well, I mean, a shattered. Look at the floating islands up there. We literally had the aether inside of the sea. It's gorgeous. Also, we have this body of water right here. I mean, we were just in that one over there. I, I feel like this probably doesn't connect to the other one, but I mean, you never know. Maybe it goes out that way, wraps around, and connects over. If we could use rivers to just travel all around this world for a little while, well, I think that would be great. Iron, iron, iron. Before we settle down and get to building our brand new house, we're going to need a little bit of iron. Of course, I'm seeing more than enough iron up there, but that's going to be like way too difficult to reach. I think what might be a better bet here is move over this way, where I was seeing a lot of stone. Oh, you're perfect. You look so good. And this moment, unfortunately, brings us to the good riddance of old, trusty wooden pickaxe. Wooden pickaxe, your days are over. I feel like even the most beginner of beginner knows, but in Minecraft, we've got a little bit of tool progression going on here. All you can really get with this thing is cobblestone and a little coal. Make your wooden pickaxe, pick up a couple blocks of stone, and make the stone pickaxe. After you get the stone pickaxe, it's time for that sweet, sweet iron. It's time for that sweet, sweet iron. I feel scammed. I've taken advantage of and, and ripped off. This is a blatant, a blatant scam. Well, 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 well. What do we have here? Not only one, not only two, three, four, five, but also six pieces of iron right over here. And oh, there's even more. Seven, eight. We got it. With these humble, yeah, gorgeous blocks of iron. We did it. We basically completed our travel goal for today. With this small chunk of iron right here, we're checked on. <laughs> In fact, way more than checked on. That means we can move on to settling down. Settling down inside of a Minecraft world. That's a whole big, oh my gosh. Hey. Wow. Oh, that's wonderful. 
Well, I had no clue about that one. You <laughs> keep that in mind. <laughs> we'll come back. We're too busy for today. Depending on how you like to play the game, your very first instinct when you create a new world is of course going to be settled down somewhere and built. If you're planning on settling down and building somewhere, you're going to want to find that inspirational landscape. But remember here, we're early game. It's probably not a great idea to explore for hours and hours and hours, running low on supplies to find that dream landscape. For us in our world, I think our long-term goal is going to have to be some gorgeous mountains and that pretty pink biome, but for now, we're just going to find something that'll work. And find something that will work. A wonderful biome early game that is relatively safe to settle down in is a plains biome. And speaking of the plains biome, I mean, we have a gorgeous open one right here with this really cool sunset backdrop. I like it a lot, but I'm, I'm kind of having second guesses. Don't get me wrong, it's really nothing about Sky Tower. I like it, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, but we're also kind of a, a little bit farther from World Spawn than I really initially wanted. I, I think we're gonna find somewhere else. Early game in Minecraft, if you're looking for at least an okay place to live, or maybe even your dream location, one of the best things that you can do is find the tallest tree or hill in the area you're around, pause the game, go to video settings, and raise those boys up all the way. Now I have brand new computer for new series, so I could probably roll with 32 render distance here, but what we're doing here is upping the render distance so we can see as far as possible. Now up at a high vantage point, we can basically see everything around here. Maybe something will catch my eye, like I love this swamp bomb and I want to live there, so I could just like, you know, run over there, or sky tower, or plains biome, or maybe even beautiful forest biome. So humble, yet simple. Unfortunately, this is not Zelda Tears of Kingdom, the game that is eating up way too much of my time right now, so you can't really set a waypoint or anything, but once you find something that looks inspirational, fix your render distance, and head in that direction. Oh my gosh, I... I think I'm gonna cry, guys. I, I, I think I might have to do it. This is beautiful. Look at that tree right there. It's gorgeous, and it even comes with a crafting table, a furnace, and a, and a, and a, and a campfire, too. We might have to live here. <laughs> Location? Check. We're gonna build a house over here. Iron. Oh, my friend almost checked. We're gonna throw this iron in the furnace and go ahead and smelt it up. With the location of our future house pretty much picked out, it's time to talk about what we're going to actually build out of. We're going to want to keep it simple. Giant castles, strange statues, even beautiful towering lighthouses. They're all wonderful ideas for builds, but also, maybe they're not great ideas for builds early game. If you're just like me and you got that fresh world feel, you want to build a starter house, it's a much better idea to keep it simple and use the materials from the environment around you. As of the 1.20 update, Minecraft has blocks and blocks and blocks and blocks. It's really easy to dream of building with some really, really cool blocks, like maybe reinforced deep slate, sea lanterns, and cut red sandstone. But hey, not to break your dreams, you do what you want to do, but it might be a little bit tricky to actually gather all of the supplies to, to use this block palette. Block palette is a term you're going to want to get used to, because you're going to hear it a lot inside of the Minecraft building community. Just like smash the like of this video, block palette is a pretty simple concept. It's basically like the blocks you're gonna use on your build. If you're building your very first build today, I recommend keeping it simple. And maybe try and limit yourself to like, I don't know, five or so blocks maximum. Sure, the more blocks you add into your build, the more detailed it could get. But also the more messy it could get too. Since this is gonna be our starter house, I also recommend taking into account your starting surroundings. If you're inside of a desert, find five or so blocks somehow. If you're inside of like a bunch of forests, well, it's basically gonna be all wood types. You can just take a bunch of them. So taking our direct surroundings inside of our survival world into account here, I think our block palette that we're gonna go with is gonna consist of these blocks right here. We're gonna use a lot of wood because that's gonna be easy to get pretty quickly. And cobblestone, I mean, we can get that pretty quickly too. Gathering resources for our very first build. <laughs> it's been a little bit of time and our iron should be smelted up just about right now. But I don't really recommend using up your first iron on gathering resources. Look, I will admit it, that it will make your job a little bit longer here, but stone tools are pretty much like your gift, early game. I mean, it's early game here, we'll relax, we'll take it nice and slow. We'll go ahead and use stone tools and start gathering all of the materials for the build that we're going to do today. To 
break any Minecraft build down to its most basic components, essentially we've got three things going on here. We've got palette, we've got style, and we've got shape, or PSS for short. Hey, <laughs> I gotta be careful with that one. When gathering resources for your future beautiful build, I highly recommend gathering in stacks here. In other words, check this out. I got about a stack and a half of oak logs, about a stack and a half of spruce, and then a stack of birch logs here. A stack of cobble too. Instead of going off and gathering like seven logs and then coming has started your build, try and get more than enough supplies, if you can. And if that means shopping down an entire forest for your supplies, that's cool, that's cool. But we are also environmentalists around here. We will replant forests so we can chop it down later, or so it just looks beautiful in the future. When it comes to the style of your build, if you don't have a vision already, it's cool to look up inspiration. Look up a little starter house inspiration and you'll find things like this, like this, or like this pretty quickly. You want to figure out if you're trying to build like a medieval thing, if you're building a modern thing, or if you're building just like whatever the thing is. Figuring out your style before you figure out your palette might help. If you're going to do like a castle, then you're going to need more stone than wood. And finally here today, last definitely not least, we're going to need to figure out the shape. We're going to keep things nice and basic, super simple for today's build. After all, this is a starter house. What I think I want to do here is set up a small starter cabin in the woods that's going to be basically like a, like a perfect square, I'm thinking. I think this area right in here, in between the birch trees, the, the taiga trees, and then, of course, the normal beautiful forest, I think this is probably going to be like a really good spot for it, actually. Pretty scenic. Oh, also, look what I found. The game literally tried to unlife me <laughs> already. Look at this hole. I almost jumped right down into it. Would have landed straight in lava. That would have been terrible. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and cover that up. <laughs> I better not fall. And maybe no trees. Also, the fire, too. Also, while collecting cobblestone, well, well, well we're a little bit more rich. Uh, we love to see it. All right, so we set up a small square on the ground with some markers here, but I think uh, right off the bat, I, I do think I want to move it back a little bit. I think if I maybe move it back, I can get away with having to build on this hill. If you've never built a build before in your life, build it on a flat spot. It'll make your life easier. So there we go. We moved the build back a couple blocks. Maybe this will save room for like a farm or something cool in the future. Let's do this. A square build. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to keep it relatively small. I've got a vision in my mind perfectly created for a starter house. This will hopefully be my most beautiful yet simple starter house I've ever built. To kick our build off today, I think we start with a couple uh, the logs sticking up into the sky. Then it's over to our crafting friend here to make a ton, like, like a lot of staircases. And speaking of staircases, the iron in the furnace is finally done. We go ahead and pull all that off, get that sweet advancement, and then we can actually go back over to the furnace and put eight pieces of cobblestone inside of it. For building, what we're setting up back over there is going to be our golden ticket. Now this build here, I end my vision, my sweet dream here. I think it sits a little bit higher up off the ground and we kind of have this like staircase situation walking up to it. I think what I'm going to do to make this uh, fit into the landscape a little bit more is maybe source some dirt from over in the forest and kind of spill the land out a little bit more so we can just like walk right up to the build. That'll be cool. Now when it comes to building in Minecraft, there's definitely a lot to it, especially if you want to make like a world's most beautiful looking build or something like that. However, at the same time, one of the worst things you could do in the entire world here is hold yourself to standards that are, like, impeccably high. You see, today, friends, we're building a simple starter house. I want this thing to look nice, but it doesn't need to be the most beautiful, perfection piece of wonderfulness in the entire world. If it looks good, then we're good. One of the biggest tips that I have for any house, a starter house, old house, is give yourself multiple entrances to the thing. We're going to have a front door that I think is going to sit over there looking towards the river. And then 100%, we're going to set up an emergency back exit that'll walk off the back of the building right over here. Now, now when it comes to a starter house and a building house in general, instead of building it all out of one single block, try and mix in different blocks. That's where this block pallet stuff is going to come into play here. For our block pallet today, remember, we're using like five blocks or so. For our build today, we're setting up a square house, but to spice it up a little bit, we're going to actually cut out one of the corners. So it's going to be a square that turns into an L. I'm thinking over here on this part of the build, we won't really see anything, which means we could be a little bit more efficient with our resources here and actually just use slabs. Then I think I want the front door of the build to be right there. On the inside of the build, I'm thinking about doing a different type of floor that I'm doing on the outside. But for our build today, we'll worry about the outside first. So, now worrying about the outside, I don't know about you, but I feel like the ultimate, you know, like 100% early starter game, a Minecraft house vibe. To capture that vibe immaculately, we're going to need oak logs. We're going to need a little bit of oak plank situation going on here. And 100%, we're going to need a little bit of cobblestone too. This is like the iconic trio of Minecraft starter houses. 
Building. It's going to be a main focus, a major part of the series. We're going to do a lot of talk about building, how to make your builds more advanced, how to make them more beautiful, all the tips and tricks, you know, every single piece of it. For today, all we're really going to worry about here is using multiple different blocks on a build and try to break up sections. Meaning, if possible, don't have like a giant 7x7 flat area that is all one block. If you're going to have an area that is a little bit more flat, like say this wall right here, use different blocks. By putting different blocks on the wall here, like oak and cobblestone and a log, it'll naturally make it look a little bit better, even if it is still flat. So, so far, taking a look at our build here, friends, it doesn't really look like too much, but we won't judge it too soon. We give it a chance to live. Once we come back in here and put different details on this thing like that, it's going to make it come to life a whole lot more and look even better. I'm pretty happy with where the build is going, so at this point in the build today, it's time to put the roof on this thing and basically, like, finish it up. The roofs of a Minecraft build, oh boy, <laughs> for the longest time, it was, like, my least favorite part of the build. I think nowadays, maybe I like it a little bit more than I used to, but still, they're a little bit more tricky than the rest of the build. For a very basic, yet effective, and nice-looking roof on your build, try creating an outline. For the roof of your build, pick, say, two different types of blocks. One of those blocks is going to be the outline block for your roof. To start by placing a staircase or something that is going to be one of the blocks of your roof off of the side of your build. Create an overhang to make it look a whole lot better. Staying pretty consistent with the staircases here, go ahead and follow the outline, the shape of your build from one side all the way to the other side. Once you get to the peak parts of your roof, start going up a little bit. Maybe do something a little bit fancy hanging off the build if you want. But yeah, basically just make an outline. After you've fully finished and filled out the outline of the roof of your build, it's time for the middle. Middle of the roof, middle of the roof, oh, it's so simple. Using even more staircases or just a second block in general, fill it all in. That's all you have to do. Now, a very, very important thing that we need to do here before we finish up the outside roof of the build is go to the inside and place some torches. Theoretically, if on the inside of the build we completely forgot the torches, we could walk away from the build after finishing the roof, come back, and there's just creepers loaded up inside of this boy. That is definitely not the vibe, so <laughs> uh, don't forget the light. It's very important. Back up here on the top of the build to finish this thing off for good. All we need is a is what one more slab. <laughs> We're literally one slab short, but I think it's looking pretty good. So here it is. Went back over to the spot, got one vinyl slab, and it's done. The starter house. Oh, please, please, all the applause. Really, really, it's not much. It's very simple. But yes, it's a starter house. Aside from details on this thing, we're done. But uh, yeah, details. Aside from the details that we need to slap on this thing. Details, details. On any build, good or bad, the thing that will truly make your build come to life here is going to be the final touches. Now, final touches, details, oh, it's a huge part of every Minecraft build. Long story short, try and use blocks that look a little bit more interesting and break up your palette a little bit. Maybe leaves. Those are a really, really nice decorational looking block. Maybe fences. Fences are pretty clean and they're so advanced looking. Maybe come back over to your build and drop that roof down a little bit like that. You know, make it look a little bit more cool. If you haven't already, another really interesting looking block is going to be staircases. When it comes to detailing builds and making them come to life, there's a whole lot to it. Long story short here, the part of any build that really brings it to life is going to be the details. There's a whole lot to detailing builds. When it comes to detailing builds, it's a topic that we're going to talk a whole lot more about in future episodes. To finish off our build today, this is where the iron comes in. It's time for our first pair of shears. We need leaves. Earlier on, from hunting salmon in the river, I got a little bit of bone meal. I can use the bone meal on these two tall flowers to get even more two tall flowers. Then I can put them around the build too. You will just say, hey, throw some leaves right there. Let's slap a couple signs on this simple window planter box. One more for beautiful measure right there. A couple random flowers strategically placed surrounding this build. A door, door two. Oh, for sure, we're gonna need those. A tiny bit of flowers out front, why not? Oh, wait, you know what? I completely forgot about the stone. Whoops. Oh, well, I guess we didn't need it anyways today. Anyways, here, with a couple more final touches around the build to make it look a little bit nicer, and maybe a couple glass panes inside of the windows, today, I think that's it. If you have a vision and you keep it simple, using only a handful of blocks, it's not too hard to create a beautifully perfect-looking starter house. 
And that's where we're going to end it today. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. What do you think about the house? Patron gang, big shout out. Archangel, Ground Crazy May, Medical Boomstick, Swoopy Lucas, Noodle Pork, and Bill W. You are all the best. For early access to the episodes, check out my Patreon, like, subscribe, and next time, we'll be rich. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.